All right, you guys. So today is March 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day, and we just got our notification that as of tomorrow at midnight, uh, we are going to be officially on lockdown for two weeks. Uh, I think they said April 4th, something like that. It's two weeks. Anyway, I wanted to do a little video series for you guys. Um, starting today, day zero. I'm going to call it day zero since tomorrow is officially day one, um, or minus one because tomorrow, I don't know, you get it. Um, I wanted to say that this is an opportunity for you guys to clean up your house, organize your kitchen. Um, it doesn't have to be a prison sentence. Um, so for instance, we've done some apaca shopping. We got rice, we got beans, we got that kind of stuff. But I also got some ground beef. So ground beef, breaking it up, putting it in the freezer. And tonight for dinner, we're going to be having some burgers. So got those cooking have some tonight and for some for tomorrow um, but I really think this is an opportunity for people to reorganize their life um, I know a lot of us are still going to be working from home I'm not going to be out on the town doing much but um, I've got a whole stack of stuff to do sampling for you guys so part of my apaca shop believe it or not all of this stuff from the food show I mean tea and things like that are not exactly edible foods but uh, for sustaining nutrition, but it'll be entertaining. Um, I intend to do a bunch of videos for you guys so you guys can be entertained and I can be entertained doing some work for you and stuff like that since I'm not going to be out doing other things. Um, I'll be doing some Amazon upkeep and stuff like that. But I wanted to just say, hey, it's a pucka shop time. It's a pucka top cooking and uh, we'll be doing some stuff. Yeah, doesn't have to be a prison sentence, you guys. Um, think of this as an opportunity to organize part of your life and do something different. So this is gonna be a little bit different um, video for me and a little bit different video series. I'd love to have you subscribe and um, yeah, not necessarily cooking, but other stuff you can be doing too. I just saw this family on the way here. They look like they're having a great time. You guys look amazing. <laughs> no seating. Nobody. Just creepy. All right, so I'm doing a little bit more uh, informalness here, but I thought I would show you some hot tips of what I do in my kitchens here. So here I have four different stages. So I have a ground beef that I got at Costco. Uh, it's rather large, and so I break it up into smaller pieces like this, and I wanted to show you some hot tips. So what I do is, I first of all, I put it into a bag like this. No, this is not a zip-top bag commercial. This is just me living life. And then I try to get all the air out of it as much as possible, and then squish it down and then I squish it all the way down into this format because when you put this baby in the freezer and it freezes solid you can then stand them up you can stack them you can also put the date of when it's from um, but yeah these stack in your freezer really nicely because it's only like what three quarters of an inch thick that's two centimeters for those in Europe um, but yeah there's your hot tip of the day so we'll have a pocket shop news for you all right, there's your hot tip of the day, something to do. All the air and I squish it out of the zip top bag like this and I make them about uh, three quarters inch thick because they freeze nice and flat. And then when you get them into your freezer like this, you can actually stand them up and it saves a lot of space. So you can see how that's really compact. All right, there's your hot tip on day zero of a pocket shopping and a pocket cooking. And uh, I'm going to make some more videos for you guys. If there's something you want to see, if you want to learn how to make rice and beans or how to make things out of condiments in your house, please let me know. And I'll see what I can do to not only entertain, but give you guys some good information. Boy Scout Bob, out! And then, of course, when you defrost them. Oh, by the way, when they're thinner like that, they're easier to defrost. You can make delicious burgers, because who doesn't want a delicious burger? All right, pocket shopping, out! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you guys, so just a little bit different format, and I will see you tomorrow with some more Apaka cooking. Take care.